Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Real quick, I got two new products that just got to my doorstep and uh, two products that I've been waiting for for a little bit. I just want to share with you guys today. So one thing about myself is that I'm a gear junkie. When it comes to rods, reels, tackle, electronics, kayaks, stuff like that, I'm, all, I'm a junkie when it comes to just pretty much anything new. Uh, I'm excited to get my hands on those type of things. And uh, I got a couple new things I've been waiting for. It's not this. This is the Shimano Bantam MGL. This is actually the older version. Well, just came in is the newer version, 2022 model. And uh, one thing I, I wanna talk about this reel is that I love the main design of this and that is their core solid one piece body. So everything you see here minus the handle and the braking system on the side it is a one piece body. Now what that means is that under load, you know, you think about your punching, your frogging, even just throwing a jig, you don't have anything within that reel that's bending. That body is holding everything together so that you can really just pin those fish and get them going to the boat. That means that less things are gonna break. With that being said, let's open this box. I have not seen this reel in person. And uh, it's been one thing that I've been waiting for a while. It is one of my favorite reels. And uh, I'm excited that they came out with a new version with some upgrades. Broke the seal, here we go. So of course you have your instruction guide for the reel. And uh, just in case you need any parts down the road, there is that as well. Some reel lube, I always could use that. One thing that guys ask me is how often do you clean your reels or do you send it in? I send my reels into Shimano about every year, specifically during winter because anywhere between November and like February, typically I'm not fishing. So it's a great time for me to send those reels in to make sure that they're performing in tip top shape. Every other time of the year, I will go through them with just a little bit of water, some Q-tips and also an air compressor just so I can get all the dirt and stuff out of it. One drop of this real lube on the bearings is all you need. If you do too much, it can collect more dirt and actually make it perform less. All right, there she is. Man, that color is sleek on that. Take a look right here. For the most part, this reel resembles just about the same as this previous model. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Right there, if you guys can see, hopefully it is focusing, but both reels, and I mean, pretty similar, right? Core solid one piece body, so not much can really change from that. So as I'm looking through them, definitely they are the same size it looks like. So I'm not going into crazy detail about all the features, all the technology and the specifics of this reel because I feel like everybody does that, but I just kind of want to talk about the main things that to me matters. One of the things that Shimano adds to some of their reels is their Magnum light spool. Basically it's a spool that's cut down on weight and what it does is when you're making your first initial cast, it takes a little bit of inertia to get that reel rotating, right? So a lighter spool makes that inertia less. So basically you're gonna get a farther cast, your line and your distance is gonna respond a lot better. So one thing about this new Bantam is that they have their Magnum light three spool. Basically the weight's cut down more than its previous version. So you're gonna get a lot better casting distance. It's gonna be less effort to cast. And one thing about that is that is really important to me, right? The less you can put work on your body, the better it is for your longevity to be on the water. Another really cool feature to me is that they added their infinity drive system. Basically the main shaft on that provides more torque. And like I said, this is a workhorse reel, right? You want all the power you can get. You wanna make sure that all the gears and everything are completely solid and that it can handle the type of load that you would put through it. And I'm talking about 50, 65, 80 pound braid, pulling fish out of mats, frogging. I mean, if you guys have seen my hook sets, I, I crack them pretty hard. And I expect my gear to be able to handle the type of abuse. And I'll tell you what, no problems with this one. I mean, my old Bantam may be a little hard to see, but it is definitely beat up. I do take care of my stuff, but there's some things that you just can't prevent, and I really do put some of my stuff through the ringer. There's a couple of my first impressions and a little bit of info for you guys. The Bantam is one of those reels that I pretty much always have to have on the water with me. I mean, unless I'm 
fishing Lake Shasta and uh, finesse fishing in the middle of the winter, right? But yeah, that is the new Shimano Bantam. Super excited to get my hands on it. Honestly, I will probably be using both these reels whenever I can just because, I mean, that's the type of fishing that I like to do. Now next, I've gotten to see the technology behind these new baits at the Pacific Northwest Sportsman Show when one of my reps had a display model to show and uh, it's awesome technology. I think it's very innovative and just completely new, right? I always try to do something different than other people, show them something different and that is the World Crank with their Flash Boost technology from Shimano. You can see that foil that's built into the side of it. I mean, yes, I'm kind of shaking a little bit, right? But that thing continuously moves by itself. Another cool thing about these new hard baits is that they have something called Jet Boost technology. If you can hear it, they have a weight transfer system in it so that when you make your initial cast and that weight knocks forward, it actually helps increase your casting distance and uh, that's just something that is definitely needed. I mean, you think about trying to cast some of these light hard baits into the wind, I mean, it is a pain. I don't care what you have your braking settings set to, but it is definitely hard and, you know, a couple little things like that just to be different compared to some other baits on the market is really neat. So that one's a little translucent crawl color, I honestly forgot the name of it, but uh, with a tournament coming up in the Columbia River, I think that thing's going to probably catch some fish. So I'm excited to get my hands on that. Now they do have that in their jerkbait series as well, the World Minnow. I think that one imitating straight bait fish is going to be amazing. I got to see that one at the Sportsman Show and uh, waiting to get those as well. And those are two new products I just wanted to share with you guys today. Like I said, I'm a geek when it comes to these type of things. Let me know if these type of product videos is something that interests you guys. I'm definitely willing to do more of those because I'm always trying to get the newest and greatest products on the market. And with that, that's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Make sure you subscribe below. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. I think the plan is to do a giveaway once I hit that milestone. So make sure you guys subscribe because that's the only way that you guys will be able to get entered into this giveaway. Once again, thanks for watching. Let me know again if these videos interest you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.